Hi everyone. Today I'll be explaining what does the business analyst do, roles and responsibility of a business analyst, and how IT project works. So let's start. So the first question that comes to many people mind is who is a business analyst? So IT business analysts are have expertise in both business as well as IT. So they are actually the bridging gap between the clients and the development team. We can also call the development team as a technology team. As we can see a person in an image where he is between the customer team that is the clients or we can call them stakeholders and between the stakeholders and the technology team. So business analysts gather the requirements from the clients and document them and present them to the technology team in a technical manner. So technology team de uh, develops a solution and for the validation, business analysts show it to the clients. So what are the roles and responsibility of a business analyst? So business analyst actually, or we can say that uh, how a day in a life of a business analyst. So the, for the, the main thing that a business analyst do is documenting and gathering requirements from stakeholders. After documenting the requirements, he explained these requirements to the development team, which would include the UX and uh, the API team, web team, Power BI, W, mobile team, testing team, and there may be others depending on the tech stack and what we are building. And uh, the third responsibility would be helping project manager in creating the documents such as project charter, SOW, and others. Even though project manager create these documents, but business analysts help them in creating these documents. Other would be creating tickets in project management tools such as Jira, Zoho, Rally. So business analysts create tickets in the project management tool. Business analysts follow up on the bug tickets with the development team. He also reviews the test cases for the requirement so that the, the testing team may be sure that they have captured all the test cases that are required to test a particular feature. Now understand how does a project works, IT project works. So what is the first step? First step is the requirement gathering and documentation. This step or this part is being done by the business analyst. So business analyst reach out to the clients and schedule a interview or a normal a, a brief conversation about a particular feature. Business analyst take up all the requirements and document them into the FRD, which we, which we call as a functional requirement document. After this is the first step. After after documenting the requirement, the business analyst explain this requirement to the UX designer, so that UX designer can create a prototype. Prototype is actually a mockup with the interactions, so that UX designer can create a prototype and. Uh, we can get we can get surety from the clients that whatever we are building is aligned with their business needs. So once UX create the prototype, the business analyst could uh, goes to the client and ask them to give the sign off based on the prototype created. After that. Once we get the sign up from the clients and we are aligned on from the business needs, the business analyst uh, gave the 
detailed requirement to the development team so that they can start with building up of that feature in the application. So development team may include uh, the database team, the API team, the web team, the business intelligence team such as the Power BI or the Tableau along with the testing team. So once the development team develops that particular feature, testing of the application starts. So the testing team first creates the test cases for that particular feature and checks whether that feature developed by the development team passes all those test cases or not. So once testing team gave the approval that the, uh, the particular feature has been implemented well and there are no more issues left, then comes the deployment phase. So deployment, it is a process of installing, configuring, updating and enabling application or suite of application that makes a software system available for use like certain URL on a server. So we deploy our feature on the cloud such as Azure or maybe AWS. And we can get a link. And uh, if, if we want to use that feature, we just have to go to the link and click on that feature, we'll be able to use it. So that's all about how an IT project works. Thank you so much.